Uh, welcome everybody to part two of our series on Windows Azure 2012 in uh, Visual Studio. On this video, we want to uh, make a new Azure application. You can see here we got uh, we got Visual Studio 2012, and you can see here also we got um, here as you can see we got Visual C Sharp. You can select your app from here, and also you can. Uh, start with a new SQL Azure or Windows Azure application. So in order to begin with Windows Azure application you can go to uh, Visual C Sharp and uh, click on Cloud, Windows Azure uh, Cloud Service. I'm just gonna click OK. So after you click OK you gotta create a new project. This requires some time. All right, so when we click a new uh, Windows Azure application, you're going to see here we got ASP.NET uh, Web Role, ASP.NET MVC4 Web Role. You can select uh, the thing that you want to work with. I'm going to choose ASP.NET MVC4 and add it to the SQL Azure uh, Service Solution. Click OK. So right now we're going to create and get started with our Windows Azure application. So after you create your first application, it's going to ask you what kind of application do you want to make. You want to make a basic or internet application with MVC4 and that use, uses forms of authentication or you want to use Windows authentication or Windows Azure authentication. I'm just going to click on internet application and I'm just going to choose the Razor Engine and click OK. Right now, I'm creating the project MVC uh, Web Role 1. And this is for my solution here, Solution Windows Azure, a project name. And we got a, a Web Role called MVC Web Role 1. This Web Role going to be uh, taken to as a virtual machine to SQL, to Windows Azure. And Windows Azure operating system going to run this virtual machine so you can uh run your application instantly so this is uh pretty much what i want to introduce right now we just uploading and making the project this requires some time just want to pause the video a little bit all right as you can see here we got the first app running here using mvc for our windows azure web role you can see here we got the mvc web role one and you can see here we got the application up and running here. So in order to upload this to the server to SQL Azure, first let me just run it on localhost. So I'm can I can just go to Chrome and run it uh, using Google Chrome by clicking on the play button here in Visual Studio. So but notice here that I'm gonna run the virt the Windows Azure emulator and Windows Azure uh, storage in order to run this application locally. So, okay, this requires some time. We need to wait. Everything in Windows Azure for the first time requires some time because there is a deployment uh, process. So we we built the app. We're trying to run it. So you can see here we're going to start uh, the emulator. SQL Azure emulator and SQL Azure, oh, I'm sorry, uh, Windows Azure storage emulator. So we are running the emulators in the debugging environment for Windows Azure. You can see them uh, just right there. Computer emulator started and the storage emulator is shut down. We are trying to start the Windows Azure emulator. This requires some time. Okay, it's gonna ask us uh, for Windows Firewall alert. I'm just gonna allow the access to the Windows Azure emulator. You can see here, storage storage emulator is just get started, and you can uh, double click on the emulator here 
show the computer emulator UI and you can also show the storage emulator UI user interface in order to um, see them here you can see we got a storage emulator it has a blob storage has a queue storage and has a table storage so we want all this on local host on different port here port 10,000 10,001, 10,002 and uh, we're trying to run uh, the Azure emulator so you can see here double click you can see here uh, we got the commute which is the Azure main responsible or the middle layer or middle wire for Azure All right. So we're trying to run it as you can see here. We run the Windows Azure Compute Service, and uh, we're trying just to see here Windows Azure Compute Emulator full. We got this service that's gonna say Web Roll One, and we see this. Web role is running on board port 81. So we can just click again to see um, to, to debug again. It's going to be much faster right now. So I can stop the debugging process and I can go to um, let me say here to uh, controller to home controller and try to run it again. So see the default indexes, default methods index one. And you just want to refresh the emulator. Try and go to the service. All right, as you can see here, we run the app, and you can see here uh, we got the first application, the first user application running on the server. And you can see here we can go to different pages. You can go to contact, about us, home, and also you can uh, uh, register and do all that stuff. All right, uh, let me just make a uh, change, a quick changes here. Uh, I just want to uh, turn up, turn off uh, Azure. And here again, I go to index. You can go to script. I'm sorry. Okay, wait a minute here. You can go. I'm sorry. Views. Uh, you can go home controller index page. You're gonna see here. We got this index page over there. So I can just go to my index the CSHTML page, and I can add uh, something else to the page um, here. So. I can just, you know. All right, I just want to go to this page and type a header one here. Header one, wait a minute. Header one. Just want to close it. Okay, type Ahmed Nasser dot com. So I want to save this chain and run this in Chrome again. So I don't need to rerun the emulator because it's already started. So this requires um, maybe five seconds to be run. All right, just refresh the server, make my changes. All right, so I'm just waiting for user emulator for the first time. See, it's loading. You can see AhmadNaz.com is over there. So. If you go to all programs, go uh, SQL Server 2012, go SQL Server Management Studio. Uh, we're going to see in the next video how we can upload this into Microsoft SQL or Microsoft Windows Azure. This is just a quick introduction to SQL Azure, how to run it, how to make your first MVC4 app. Next video, we're going to see how we're going to do some customization and upload this to the SQL Azure platform. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.